Johnston. Back to Forrest. McLean is in the middle. There he goes. That's Paquetti. Proven. Look how far up Proven is too. Look at the space there is for Hind. In goes Forrest. Of course, two ahead. One wonders whether Rangers can rustle up the determination to fight back because they fell completely out of the match after the first penalty award when the ball was handled by McKinnon when he seemed to lose his concentration just momentarily. Hughes. Hughes, whose runs in the first half really were troublesome from Johansson, who's now clearing. Murdoch, Wood, Rangers did have at least one very good chance in the first half to have scored but didn't take it, that's Johnston, Forrest jumping up, Henderson, punched by Simpson, Wood, Hughes, McKinnon, that's Lennox after him. McKinnon, Gamble, McBride lobbing it in towards the Rangers goal. Well, whatever the cause of it, certainly the better team is, looks now certain to win this match. Here's Henderson. A foul, but it's outside the penalty box. Henderson is shaping up to take the kick himself as Mr. Phillips pushes back the Celtic defenders. And it was, and it was, it was Greg. Appeals there, but the keeper was fouled. Henderson took the kick. Greg put it in. getting the credit but finally deflected into the Celtic net Mr. Phillips
tackled immediately there by Matheson, the stand-in left half of Rangers. Right away, I'll give you the Rangers shock team. Richie, Johansson and Proven, Greg McKinnon and Matheson, Henderson, Willoughby, Miller, Forrest, Johnston. Miller making a comeback to the Rangers team. There's Forrest with unaccustomed number 10 in his back, challenged by Barry. The referee is penalising Forrest, giving a free kick to Hearts. The Hearts team, Cruikshank, Polland and Shevlin, Higgins, Anderson and Miller, Hamilton, Barry, Wallace, Carrigan and Trainer. Carrigan is just getting up off his knees. The referee is Mr. Webster from Falkirk. Another free kick to Hearts, Barry taking it. Carrigan, Higgins, with the turn pass to the inside left. Hamilton. Proven concedes the first corner of the game. It's Hamilton. They do it left footed. Headed by Wallace and kicked away by Greg. Barry, remember, although he is number eight on his back, he doubles into defence to act as a sweeper up. Higgins. Wallace nicely back to Miller. Johansson. Hearts fifth from the top of the league table. Rangers second. It's Willoughby. Miller. And the other Miller, there are two Millers, George at left half for Hearts, Jimmy at centre for Rangers. Trainer. Trainer did very well to get it across. Hearts are playing with the sun in their eyes, so their defence at disadvantage, Miller to Johnston. Headed by Anderson. Johnston. Trainer. Johansson winning, but a throw to Hearts. Wallace giving the ball to Miller. Wallace is the man the Rangers defence must watch. It's Greg. Henderson. Miller. Johnston. Unable to catch it. Carrigan. game at Tynecastle Rangers won 2-0 so Hearts apart from their cup defeat very anxious to atone for that one McKinnon Shevlin number three sending it back to Cruikshanks you can see he has a jockey cap on to shed his eyes from the sun Greg, Forrest, Willoughby, Henderson, being held off by Shevlin, Higgins, Trainer, Hamilton squares it straight to Willoughby, Henderson, Willoughby, 
Makes it through to Henderson. Referee is saying no penalty. It's Wallace. Hamilton. Miller chasing after Proven. Miller is being penalised there for pushing. It's Matheson. Forrest. Johnston. Tackled by Pollen. Johnson throwing very quickly. That's Miller. I'm sorry, Barry, who tumbled in there. Johnston. Forrest. Well, certainly the chances have fallen so far to Rangers with 20 minutes gone and no scoring. there for foul by McKinnon indicating I think that McKinnon had tammed the ball Forrest Anderson Holland trying to keep it in so as not to concede a corner which he succeeds in doing it it's a throw all the same in the second half Rangers kick off playing into the wind and with, with the sun in their eyes. Important to remember that Rangers are attacking the goal to the left because on your screens there's not much of a contrast between the blue of Rangers and maroon of hearts. It's Matheson. Robin. Neither team had a particularly impressive first 45 minutes and Rangers certainly missed a couple of very good chances. McKinnon, Miller, Forrest, Johnston who finished off. Henderson. And the ball given in by Forrest. Well, with no chance seemed to exist, Henderson literally came out of the blue and in a really tight spot, got it across and finished off at long last by Forrest. So, 26 minutes gone in the second half. Rangers 1, Hearts 0. Barry. Kerrigan. Foul by Forrest. Kerrigan to Hamilton, but the referee is saying the kick was taken from the wrong spot. The referee is looking at his watch and totting up the time which is being wasted here.
Matheson. Forrest. Miller. Willoughby jumping up there, but the ball bouncing very awkwardly indeed. It's Anderson. Trainer giving him it back. What a goal by Anderson. Well, if that isn't the best goal of the season, then I haven't seen it. Anderson raced three quarters of the length of the field, got a return pass there from Trainer, and now he's lying down inside the penalty box, injured. Also, just on the right-hand side of the box is McKinnon of Rangers. So we have the two centre-halves injured, the one who just scored a goal, and the one who just tried to stop it. Twenty-nine minutes played in the second half. Hearts have equalised. Now we see this scene here, which is rather like an Ibrox version of Emergency Ward 10. Johansson. Wonderful goal by Johansson. Wow, that was almost a replica of the goal which Johansson scored, which won the cup for them. 13 minutes played. Rangers 1, Borussia 0. Martin Watson. Held. Borussia fast and fit. Greg, who headed it, passed. Linesman's flag was not up there. But of course the ball came off a defender. Referee is not giving. The ball shot in there by Trimble. Rangers protesting furiously. The referee is giving a goal. Well, this is certainly a highly controversial incident because the Rangers players had stopped there and clearly thought the referee was giving offside. Saying that Held had stepped onto the field from an offside position, but it is fair to say that the linesman's flag stayed down, presumably because he reckoned the ball had come off a defender. Well, what a sight that is with 32 minutes played. Number eight, Trimalt, has equalised. A very controversial goal indeed. Well, into the second half, and Senor Ferragari from Spain is certainly not a candidate for the freedom of Glasgow. The arguments have been raging furiously here at half-time about whether Hell was offside or onside. Certainly Rangers, after all the pressure that they placed in Borussia, very unlucky to be drawing 1-1. Again, come up against this continental type of pack defence, which is they've always found difficult to get through, but they really have been showing tremendous determination has Johansson Alex Smith and the injustice which the Rangers players certainly think has been done to them will spur them on to even greater efforts in the second half I noticed that one or two of the players were still arguing with the referee when they came out again in the second half free kick coming up from Johansson Forrest who leaped up. Johansson, that was Emery who tried to get past him. Syriac. Watson. Asser. Neu Neuberger who tumbles down there as Greg tackles him. Henderson. Alex Smith. Greg.
held. Tackled by Greg. Good tackle. Watson. Smith. Johnston jumping over the ball and dummying the Bristol defense is foul. The line's been very quick to come on this time and mark the spot. The referee having a look at the number there. I think it was Neuberg, the outside left. Yes, it was the outside left. So a free kick from Henderson. Corner. Russell in the thick of the Rangers defence there with the ball in his hands. Smith Johnston Smith leaving up David Smith to Johnston across and Smith headed it in and again the Borussia goalkeeper could be said to be at fault anyway very few people in this now excited Ibrook Stadium will bother to what a whose fault it was, Rangers go 2-1 up.